While we're waiting on this, I'll show you something else that's kind of nifty. So here we go. So I like to, I prefer to use electronically erasable programmable read-only memory. But sometimes I may not have that and I only have the old school ones. So these are the old school uh, EEPROMs and sometimes I have to use these for like 2708s or 2716s or 2732s. The ones that I just did for this H3000, they don't have this little window like this chip has. And in order to erase this chip, you have to expose it to ultraviolet light for like 10 minutes or so. So I have this, um, this little drawer, this is probably from the 80s, um, that has an ultraviolet lamp inside. And you put this chip inside, shut the drawer, oops. Is there another chip in there? There is. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. So you put the chip in there, shut the drawer, plug it in, and this, it's a little bony, but let's see if this works. You have to set the timer. There we go. And down here, you can see the light is on. That's, um, you know, the ultraviolet lamp in there. And it's now erasing this chip. And if I open this drawer, the light turns off. Close the drawer, hit this button, light turns back on. So this is just a bigger pain in the ass compared to the EE proms, which is why I prefer the EE proms. It's nifty. It is nifty, yeah. This is how they used to do it. So that was verified. We're gonna put this in. And <clears throat> now we're gonna do ROM 5.